Hi, I am Kajer on two wheels and today finally is the day for the Yamaha MT125. So this is finally the MT125 which is actually that bloke's bike which he lent me so I can actually test drive. So this is a subscriber machine. And here she is, it's a pretty bike, even though it does suffer from what all 125 suffers, which is it's really nice looking at top and then really thin at the bottom because the engine's like this big. So let's go quickly front to back. So at the front you have some Michelin, 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 uh, Pilot Street tires with 100 width tire 17 inch rim. At the rear, obviously the same, Pilot Street width is, should be 150. Where is the width? Hello, tire size! Where art thou? And the tire size is 130, not 150, 130 at the rear. So that's 100, 130. Continuing, front to back, single headlamp H4, normal stuff. You have this carbon fiber looking um, mudguard. Inverse the suspension, which is not normal for a 1 to 5. Mine also has it. So this is a top of the line 1 to 5. And then you have your dash. We'll get to that because it's really cool. He has installed a radiator guard and the Yamaha sliders, which look very nicely indeed. I like the detail of the engine. Look, it's water cooled and it really is water cooled and doesn't look like your normal air cooled engine. You have your foot bags with this, these huge uh, warning indicators. You have this tucked in exhaust, which looks pretty nice. Looks big and beefy. And then you have <laughs> the little exit here and the bigger exit to pretend it's bigger. If you notice, you have ABS and disc brake at the rear and ABS. Okay. Pillion foot bags. The seat is out of a really nice looking suede, I think this is. Okay, you have this strap which is useless, but in, in addition to the strap, you have nowhere for the pillion to grab onto. So this, yeah, with the pillion, this is going to be a bit harsh. You don't want to hold on to that. That's that's just <laughs> for fun. And it looks really nice. It does look really nice. It's a nice looking bike. So now about the dash. And where is he? He's there. Okay. About the dash. Let me show you the dash. Because <coughs> the dash is really cool. You probably wondered what are these two lights up here. So, so uh, this dash needs some instructions. This is the speedo. This is the rev indicator. I'll start her up. Okay. That's the rev. Fuel temperature consumption 2.2 average. That's really nice. Odometer and clock. Now, what are these two lights up here for? Check it out. How cool is that? It's the rev, uh, rev limiter indicator and it's white and it's double lines. I love it. <laughs> they look, it looks really, really nice. Really, really nice. So, so here we are finally on the MT125. First impressions, it's very light. This is very light to do, okay? No, no. Uh, <laughs> it's not turning on yeah so uh, remember he's only been riding for something like six months so his pace is going to be uh, slower and he's obviously a bit nervous of riding my bike especially because he's never ridden a bike with that uh, riding position so he's still getting used to it I also noticed one little detail check uh, a difference between this and the RC125. It's a bit more nervous, engine-wise, like this. Look, uh, it does have power. Power and acceleration begins at lower revs than the RC125. Other than that, it's your usual 1 to 5 engine. As we saw from the race, basically the same performance. Okay. Uh, I won because he misshifted from first to second. He hit the rev limiter and took a bit more to to shift, and so he jumped back, and then he stayed there the whole time. So it's basically the same performance 
Differences in performance would be more due to rider weight and other factors than actual engine performance. Come on. Push me little bike. I'm going to push her to the max now. Rev limiter is at like 10, okay. It's blinking, it's blinking, it stopped blinking. As you can see, it has a lot of power, just like the RC125. Wind blast, that's okay, it's 100 kph, it's a 1 to 5, it's never going to be a lot of wind blast, so we're covered. I like these mirrors, they work pretty well. I haven't even touched them, so they're tuned for him, I'm not going to touch them. Um, but they work well enough, I guess. And it does have this quality feel, this feel of... Well, you buy this one, you spend a lot of money, and you feel you have not been cheated, okay? Everything looks well fit, well finished, well built. I'm just going to slow down a bit for him. Let's go. It's pretty easy to ride too. In fact, this is way easier to ride than the KTM. Way, way easier to ride. Because it's very light. The Look, I'm barely touching it. It feels like... The RKV has also this. It's very... Look, I'm just moving my hips around. The RKV is even lighter. That's nearly unstable. This is, I can move my hips around and it does wobble a bit, but nothing too much. I am in control, basically, on this one. On the RKV, during the turns, I felt I had to maintain control. On this one, I am in control all the time. Okay? So the thinner tire gives it a bit more agility, but it doesn't compromise the rest of the bike. So yeah, this is a good bike. This is a good, good, good cracking bike. Let's see how it deals with the big bends and the big roads, up and down. And then we'll see how that goes. We're coming up to it. I'm going just to insert it into the turn really, really harshly. And go. <laughs> okay, the thinner tire now scared me a bit. <laughs> It felt like it was going to lose traction. It didn't, but it felt like it. Okay, so I'm going to... Do I overtake that car? Yes or no? He's got his indicator on. I think he forgot it. Go. Go, go, go. Oh, there's a big spacious seat. So I can be like this straight up. Or move my bum back. And I am way more bent forward. Way, way more. And now it feels like a race bike. Oh, that, this is pretty nice. Because with my ass completely backwards, the riding position is not that different from the KTM. Now it's time to put the pedal to the metal. I'm going to stop down here, down there and just push it when he comes. Let's try the brakes. Three, two, one, brake. Oh, it doesn't wheelie. It doesn't stop me. Good strong brakes though. Really good strong brakes. So let's wait for the other guy. Oh, here he is. Three, two, one, let's go. But it does wheelie. I lifted the wheel a bit.
That's a very fun bike. Just like mine. <laughs> oh yeah, you can you can have some proper fun with this in the twisties. Yeah, it's very agile and I did feel a couple of wobbles, but I am in control. It's like I said, this is a great handling bike. It's a bit more agile than the RC, it's a bit more streetwise, but it's great to work it out like this. So yeah, you go get one of these and you're not going to be disappointed in any way, shape or form. What a great bike! It's way easier to ride than the KTM, way easier! So it's way easier to get it to the max and have fun. KTM is a bit more serious, this is a bit more hooliganish. Yeah? Look how fast I went up there! Wow! I am impressed! Yamaha did a good bike, what do you know? <laughs> Who would have expected it? Let's see if this wheelies. <laughs> it does wheelie! really look <laughs> he doesn't know what I've been doing to his bike <laughs> Espetar se o gajo peta-se aqui, vamos lá ver. <risos> ok, então vamos lá. E vamos abrandar por ele. Out of my way, Cager!
Let's put on the anchors now. <laughs> What a great bike. So yeah, this is the MT-125. It is a great, great starter bike. It is a spectacular bike to begin on because it is very light, very easy to ride and it's just the best 125 you can buy. This or the Duke, it depends. Personally, I'd go for this one, but it, it really is much the same okay just take your pick any one of these will will work better as a starter bike than the rc125 because the rc is a bit heavier and it requires some skill it requires that you pilot it because of the way you're sitting look just check out how low to the front wheel the rc is the rc is like bent over on the front wheel this one isn't so yeah two great one to fives the best money can buy this is a better starter one this is a better one if you have a bit more experience but this is a, a great bike in fact if you buy one of these just like the duke you buy one of these and then you want to upgrade to the next one to say a 600 or an mt07 or something else bigger and you'll be wanting to keep this one so yeah this is a great bike good route